Love yous. Send it. G'day guys. Welcome to another episode of Adeline Adventures. It feels like what's been about 50,000 years since we put anything up. We've been that bloody busy with work and everything. There's been zero time for any fun, really. But anyway, it's New Year's. It's the 3rd of January, 4th of January. Cyclone Blake sitting, whatever his name is, sitting straight off the coast. So we're going fishing. We're just off the northern tip of this cyclone and it looks like good weather, but anything can change. So we've got our eyes on that. Uh, I'd love to be saying that I'm taking up my boat, but I'm not. I wish I was, but I'm not. We've had an offer from a mate of a mate. You remember Bordo, this big tall hunk of man meat. We've had an offer from his mate to use his boat. And he's got a shed up at 1770 at Agnes Water there. He's got a shed up there and that's what we're gonna be using. He's got an eight meter Patriot. And I thought, you know what, for four, blokes that's probably a better way to go than uh towing our platy up there so that's what we're gonna do anyway i'm here to pick up the first one the oldest jetty rat of them all cody he's coming up for his first trip i tell you what if we can put him onto a uh, red or a trout he's gonna be a happy young man rightio we've got all cody's gear in here he comes come on hello mr torco what's going on oh. you you ready to roll? Yeah. <laughs> you smell very good, mate. I must say, is that a bit of a silver scent? Yeah, a bit of silver scent. <laughs> right, oh, we're off to pick up the big dog. Bye. Say bye to the boss, mate. Hello. You all right? I'll bring him. I'll bring him back in one okay. piece. Bye. You right? Yeah. We got the big dog. We got the big dog. We got whiskey. I'm oh, Silver Fox. <laughs> Whiskey's Kitchen. Remember these watermelon clothes? Next stop, Bordeaux's, and then 1770. Yeah. I got the job near two years ago, 18 months ago, and it all come out to yeah. find it up. How are we going to fit all this in, mate? We'll, we'll jam it in. We'll jam it in. <laughs> we'll get our dead body slash rods, swags. We have to do a bit of jimmying around here and slot a bit of timber in to keep all the... Actually, uh, Take the 79 over the 200, he reckons. Got to fit mm -hmm. some shit in it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, no, that's not. Yeah, just give, just, oh, yeah. <laughs> just give it a kick first. Yeah, she's good. <laughs> We're on. We are on. Yeah. Not bad, leg red. Helps being four foot three. I'm happy. How you going there, mate? Out of your room. <laughs> <laughs> How you going in there, mate? I love one. Yeah, plenty of room. Plenty She's of room. Sagging in the front a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Auto. How do you draw? How do you work these, mate? Oh yeah, hang on. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Up down. Nah, it's up, <laughs> around and round, up and down. You beauty. It's pretty easy. I heard about these back in the day. Yeah. She's a farm truck, mate. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> you take the exit to Mamino and you're like. Half an hour and you're a Bundy. Little update on the trip. 45 kilometers out of uh, Maribara. Bordo's just uh, said he reckons he knows a quick way to 1770, so that'll be uh, interesting to see. What's it called? Bamino. Bamino. It's Italian for quick way, apparently. Bamino. No, Bamino. There you go, mate. I need you to drive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not driving. <laughs> <laughs> Can't see much through there, can you? A long way out that way tomorrow, actually. 
No, that way. <laughs> a long way that way. We have arrived at the shed. 1770. Well, Agnes Waters. Five minutes from the 1770 boat ramp. We just went out for a pub meal. This is great. Right, we're at 1770 Caltex. For anyone who's heading up here, this Caltex closes at 11 p.m. So if you get up here before then, fill up here. If you're not, you're gonna have to fill up at the highway somewhere. This beast holds 500 litres and gets one kilometre per litre. So we've got about 500 kilometres, uh, so 450 safely. Most I've done up here is about 440 and that was a massive trip. So we should be laughing. Anyway, it's about half past 10 at night, we're gonna fuel up, we're gonna go back, go to sleep, get up about three o'clock. We got a low tide at the bar at 1770 at... <laughs> got a low tide at the bar. What time's... <laughs> what time's low tide? Quarter, Quarter past, past three. three so about four, maybe 4.30, it's a 0.2 metre tide. There's swell from Cyclone Blake, Brent, whatever the wanker's Seth. name is. <laughs> Seth. <laughs> Brent was the one, Blake was the one I was caught in up, caught up in the Kimberley. Anyway, right. so we're fi fueling up and uh, we're gonna head out about four o'clock in the morning, cross the bar and leg it north, so. What are you eating today, whiskey? Oh, uh, curry pie, I think. <laughs> <laughs> That'll put anyone to sleep. We're out. The run and repairs. <laughs> What's a fishing trip without a minor setback, eh? What's happened, Foley? What are we doing down there? A flat battery on the uh, port side here, so tidying up the terminals. They're a little bit corroded, and then we're off like a rat up a drain pipe. Oh, hurry up! I want to go fishing. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't had a wink of sleep all night. Someone's been snoring and coughing their guts up. Who was that? Uh -huh. <laughs> Whiskey's kitchen. <laughs> Makes it all the more better if you get onto some good fish, eh? <laughs> We're relying on you for the reds, mate. Uh, well, we'll see. Oh, that's good. Long, long way away. But um, we're just sitting in shallow 15 meters now. We're gonna see if we can get a few flesh baits, but we've actually got a couple of decent fish already. A couple of big red throat. Oh, big red throat. Good tusky. Codes is onto something else now. Um, just getting everything <coughs> sorted out. Neat, tidy, and bin sorted and everything. So we got room to see if we can get a couple of trout or something in. And uh, then we're gonna head out deep and hopefully chase some reds big trout stuff like that so anyway we're out here we're fishing Porto's on to uh something he's calling it a lipper tusky you need it is it oh nice beauty beautiful yum yum we're getting yeah hit him with that's it mate you got him we're getting smashed with current now Conditions are not too bad. They look in the background, but it's wind against tide, big time. There's the first one in the boat. He's way too small. We're not getting much shows of fish at all on the sound. I usually it's covered in fish this place, but anyway, see if we can get his daddy. All right, second drift. Not much showing on the sound at all. They eh? thought over that. A couple of little drips and drabs, but we're obviously down there. Another little tusky. Look at that, that's better. Yeah. Can't snooze at them. Little fella, but the best eating. Just hit mark again there, mate. That looks good there. Back on. Yep. Back on. 
Something half okay here. A few more fish popping up. A few more fish popping up now. And it's red. Red. Fortunately, they're all around that 45 to 50 centimetre size at the moment. Big one will come. Our cameraman and boat driver's down. <laughs> so we're having a multi task here. <coughs> We're just plucking away at a heap of smaller reefies. A lot of reds. Undersized. Oh, he spewed up a bait fish. Plucking away at a heap of these smaller <coughs> reefies. Still good fun to put fish in the box. Yeah, that looks alright, folks. Oh, Big bunch? Yeah. Coach is onto a really good fish here. That's a good fish, mate. Good man, that's it. That's a good fish. We're gonna fucking... We're gonna come back to ya. Give me a run for money. Yeah, good fish, mate. Almost there. It's, um, whatever it is, you can see colour. You know this. Oh, oh, it's red. It's red. It's red, it's red, 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 red. Got him oh. over. Got him over. Oh, yeah, boy. Yeah. 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 He's a horse, boys. Nice oh, one. Yeah, Cody. Oh. <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 boy! Yeah, yeah Cody! <laughs> yes! You, that's nice so shot. good! <laughs> good man! Oh, well what? done, mate! My arms are sore. <laughs> Cody! You. That is a proper one! Mighty oath. <laughs> oh, that's great. I've been talking to him what it's like to catch a big red for probably two or three years now. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Finally ticked it off. Got to watch you do it. Yeah. <laughs> Your face when it come out, you're like, oh, <laughs> oh you beauty. Right, oh well. There's more down there. Yep. Up in, Next uh, drift. Next up in drop. Reverse. Uh, yep. Uh, winner, but this way. If I go that way. Yep. Sorry. Whoa! <coughs> yeah, that's what that one was. Nice big red throat. Starting to put a few good fish in the box now. Just click, turn the motors on. Like oh, the other, right. yep. Yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yep, yeah, now just click it. Yeah. Good fish. Yeah. Good man. So, um,. Bordeaux. Talk to me, Bordeaux. Talk to me. You're on camera. Talk to me. Oh, man. How's, how's, how's it feel? Oh! Oh, the background! Oh, you fing fishing. Yeah. We're just here to vomit. Yeah. Everyone loves a double hookup. Yeah, Bordeaux. Wind this in. Fing <laughs> no, I'll Where? probably drop your rod on that week at the moment. I'll help Cody. <laughs> Quick, can you can you either wind this or help Cody? I'll net it. Yeah. I'll, I'll net it for him. Yep. Oh yeah, we got colour. We got colour, baby. Hey, hey. Yeah. Yes, we know. Yeah, nice one. Thanks, 
Put me on fish. No worries, mate. <coughs> All right, mate. And a break. Yep. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> another the, one. Another one. Close. Oh! He's uh. He's got a good one here. That looks like a tusky. I'm tipping a tusky. I don't know. Tickin what do you reckon, guy. Bordo? I'm thinking. Yeah, tusky. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, we've got one sick boy here, don't we? Indeed. Hey? Mm. Nice tusky, Andy. Beautiful tusky. He's a good one, mate. See you soon, big fella. All right. So it's um, about 1.30, quarter to two. We're planning on anchoring up out here for the night and staying here. But a bit of a drama. Bordeaux's really, one SOB. really not good. We got one SOB. Sick of non-stop vomiting, um, and we're onto the fish. So <laughs> he feels bad. The poor bugger. We're gonna have to take him in, um, in close. Maybe go behind the reef and go for a swim and stuff. See how he feels. So we're gonna do one more drift, um, and then we're gonna head back anchor up behind the reef and see if we can get him good again. I don't get seasick, but I've heard all you want to do is die. So, yep, he said. <laughs> you know well, I am, I? Nope. <laughs> mm. All right, we'll go for one more drift and we'll head back in, into the reef. All right, I've started heading back. Ooh, whoa. So, We've brought the big fella in. Look who's come good, people. <laughs> Fine form now. <laughs> <laughs> He's ready to rumble. Anyway, we've come in. Uh, we had to leave the Reds uh, starting to chew. <clears throat> Sorry, mate. That's all right. Anyway, <laughs> got to look after you, mate. Hey. <laughs> We're going to go for a dive and have a good leisurely afternoon. We're anchored on the uh, southern side of Broomfield Reef here. It's beautiful. So, um, boys are going to go for a dive. Geez, if we get a cray, I got a massive cray here one day. I'll put the photo right here. And uh, we chase it for ages, got it with a hand spear. I've been here with Widow a few times. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. He gets a trout. Geez, he's got his, he's got his ducks off here. Look out! I think he missed the memo, it's 35 degrees. I'm definitely not a spear fisherman. But I'm gonna have a go. Look at this. You got me flippers. Got me kniffy and they you there, got me goggles, mate. What's going? This, this what's, my nappy. What's going on here? <laughs> what's going it's my on? Here? <laughs> it's my front bum. Do they drag along the reef or something? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Same cool. problem. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see if I can dive three things. At least two and a half meters, mate. Pretty happy with that. After a huge hot day's fishing, there's nothing better than jumping in for a snorkel. And although we do this most trips, I've never really actually speared before. Trout are always the goal in the reef's shallows, and while widows speared about a million of them, I've never actually speared a fish before. Until I dove down and looked under the cave and seen a trout staring straight at me. I shot him and my spear got stuck, so it wasn't exactly textbook. But there you have it, my first ever speared fish, a 41 centimetre trout. First fish I've ever speared actually, and it's 40 centimetre trout. Pretty much professional now, what do you reckon Bordeaux? Pretty good mate. <laughs> oh man, I've nearly shot like five people by accident with this thing today. <laughs> Trust my fingers. Can't believe I got a trout mate, I'm just so happy. <laughs> Spangy and a couple of trout. A couple of trouties and a big spangy. After that little uh, diving sesh, then we ended up with about six or seven trout. A couple of other fish. Oop. Which now we're out doing the Arvo red throat sesh in about 20 metres. Put a few more in the box, hey mate? 
Big fella's come yeah, good mate. now. He's into them. Finally put a uh, keeper in the box. So we just got a couple more really good trout. Um, we'll do this till just after dark. Marked our anchorage where we're going to stay in about seven or eight metres and um, we'll cook up a good feed. A bit of reef and beef tonight. Belted me on the way down, eh? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> not too the big boy. They're good fun, aren't they? Yeah. You go hard and they taste awesome. Dude. No, it's just. Yeah, I'm Greg. You him? <laughs> Coral. Australia! Big dog. Jeez. Oh god! <laughs> oh, that's a good fish! This is a good one! Oh, this is great! Not gonna lie, this is good fun! 12 metres of water. Light line. They're good fun. They're cracking fish here. Don't tell me it's his trout just before sunset. What is it? Sunset trout. Tell me it's a trout. Talk to me. What is it? Tell us. Retro. Oh. We're anchored up back in here, cooking dinner. That was a great little red throat sesh. We must have put 15 fish in the box, easy. Yeah. Yeah. Which is great. Um, oh, cooking up a bit of reef and beef, some fresh fish from today. The chefs at work. What else we got? Sausages, steaks, <laughs> yes, Asian fish, salad. Asian salad. Bread Pretty rolls, good. Pretty good. Um, and then it's bed. I didn't sleep one wink last night. Shattered. Everyone else got about an hour, something like that. And then Bordeaux spewed about 20, 30 litres of uh, bile. <laughs> but you've come good, haven't you, mate? Yeah, mate. That's it. Good day, boys. Good day. Yeah. We're out. See you at sunrise. You wanna say something cool? See you at sunrise too. Say something cool. What do you say? You wanna say something cool? See you at sunrise. <laughs> <laughs>
about 50 to 100 metres off it. And um, just blobs on the Furuno, they show up. Really nice, big, red, predominant blobs. Oh, oh geez. Right colour. Is it? Yep. Good boy. Porto. Another one. Well done, mate. <laughs> Not a big one, but he'll do. Yep. Well done. Father Christmas. Give us a laugh. <laughs> 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 exactly what we're chasing all this through here I'll get in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Can we put on mine please yeah, yeah. Coach, can you just grab the net mate yeah please oh look at the sound oh. do you want me to hit mark on that it's just above your mark it's just above your mark oh, yeah. hopefully sharks can behind. you warm my rod up a bit please it's about 35 degrees oh. already. Six in the morning. Oh, look at that sounder. Holy. Oh, that is out of control. Yeah. You should get annihilated down there, Annie. Oh, no. <laughs> it's gold. Oh, no. It's yellow gold. It's spangled. <clears throat> yes, it's spangled. Don't worry about net for that friggin' thing. <laughs> Whose rod's that? Mine. Thanks, mate. He's a big spangle. Oh, Codes is on. <laughs> Show you what we're fishing. Don't like that. <laughs> but anyway, it's good fish. Bordeaux's just, you just got shark. Told you I didn't like that thing on the sounder. <laughs> Up. Here we go, boys. Oh, yeah. Three way hook up. Oh, yep. <laughs> oh, this is. This thing's big, man. You're a bit buckled there, mate. This is what we come out here for. I'm up, leader. Oh, yeah? Oh, I see. Oh, what the f***? Oh, the big shark. Shark underneath us. Shark underneath us. I got shark. Ready? Did ya? Yep. Oh, no. Big ready. <laughs> Calm down now. That was a cluster f***. So, what was that? Three-way hookup. Code's got sharked. Widow. I got, I got this bad boy. And you got this fella, nice keeper. And then this one tangled our lines. And that one swam around my line and I had one of the biggest reds I reckon I've ever hooked in my life. Uh, and we were tangled, I was fighting it by hand with the braid and yeah, popped it. So anyway, we're gonna go back up, do another drift. That was the first drop on that, but yeah, that's, this boat sitting a really weird way. Lines are going under the boat, so we're just gonna have to take our time and all drop drop at different times. One of the worst parts is left the hooks in him, so with reds, they're a schooling fish like snapper. And if you leave your hooks in one, most of the time he'll piss off. Or something happens down there and they all seem to hide. So anyway, we've got fish on the sand down there still. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. Yours is all right. So far, so good. Oh, look at those reds on that sounder. Uh, not a big fella. Might just go legal. But, um, they're definitely down there. Yep. Yeah. Here's the horse, mate. Nice tusky. Bordeaux's about 15 foot eight, so that tusky's actually about three foot. <laughs> Nine, 900. <laughs> three metery. Give us a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Got a squid here. 
uh, attacking uh, the uh, the bait coming up for another drift and uh, it's just come in and smashed it so we're getting a squid jig in and see if we can nail it nice tiger squid too yank him off he's coming get the net ready yeah yeah he's got him I'm gonna try to stop down this, but... I'll just line that up in that corner. Yeah, bro. Go behind him. Yeah. Yeah, I'll move over. Ready? Yep. Okay, it's Phoebe. Yo! Tidy. That was a nice... Hey, hey! He'll have hey, some... He'll have some... Hey, it's a boy! He'll have some good stuff in him, this. Yes. Okay. Oh, imagine the head is bait right here. Mm -hmm. uh, how's that for a tiger squid? <laughs> Beautiful. And the big one. Oh well, that was unexpected. <laughs> Kalamahari. Oh! To the back, bro. <sighs> You're kidding. <sighs> Just put that uh, squid head on. Got absolutely monstered and then sharked. Cody just hooked up to a big fish, sharked again. Had no problems with sharks yesterday. Now. We've lost a few good fish to them, so I don't know, might have to move away, I think. Oh, it's been a while. Oh, oh no! So here's the problem. Second time that's happened. I'm tying my hooks on the blood knot, so I'm not just looping it over, I'm tying it on, and I'm using a swivel off the top of my hooks. Still having this drama. But I just got an absolute animal of a uh, red throat. <laughs> That's one of the biggest ones I've seen. She's a big one. The size of it. <laughs> well done, mate. Nice one. Look at these fins. Yeah. So we've just tag teamed on a shark for about 15 minutes. We had to actually drive and nearly get on the plane to snap him off. He's a proper one, Bordo, isn't he? Yeah, he is, mate. Nice trout, Bordo. Nice little one trout. And he's not that little, mate. <laughs> nice good trout. It's good work. Nice to be in the shirt. That's it. Christmas spirit. Oh, yo. Hey, give us a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Widow just got um, double sharking again. We just can't drop and bring up a fish. Surprise that trout, mate. It Anyway, we're done. We're getting <laughs> we've good lost, at tying knots. We've lost that much gear to sharks. It's not funny. Oh, look at this. i got a sh <laughs> good on Very here. cute. Aren't they? Anyway, Codes has got a fish on. We're going to head on our way back. Yeah. Here he goes spearing. Look at this. It went under 100%. Yeah, he's probably wrapped you up in a reef. Right, I've pulled up uh, Northwest Island there. Widow's going to have a spear, see if we can get some more trout. Put the drone up, show you how nice this place is. Northwest Island, on the northern end of the Bunk Group. Situated approximately 80 kilometres east of Gladstone and discovered in 1803 by Captain Eber Bunker. Northwest Island is now accessible to campers via a barge from Gladstone. The island and fringing reef is shaped like a shark when viewed from the air and one of the most stunning places you're likely to see with an abundance of marine life. In the distance, I spotted some birds working a bait school. It's amazing the shapes the bait can make. Here, it's like they're trying to form a coral bommie to confuse the birds. But the fish aren't so silly. Working as one with the birds, they push the bait towards the surface, while the birds pick them off one by one and push them back down to the fish. All this while the tax man sits back waiting for something to make a mistake. The way nature works together is both beautiful and brutal. This is why this place is so special. You'll always see something new every time you come back. Rightio, that's it from us. Widow didn't get anything from the spear. Nothing, reckon it's very quiet around there, so 
wind's starting to puff about 15 knots. Uh, we got a 70k run back in. Got a mate here following us from. <laughs> what were you doing? <laughs> oh, yeah. Got a mate here following us from Brizzy also. He's going to follow us back in. We're going to fill up the fish, clean the boat, have a kip at the shed, head back to Brizzy tomorrow. So, see you back at the ramp. If you enjoyed this episode and are keen to see more, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel and check us out on Facebook and Instagram.